So we've got central angles, and what a central angle is, is where the vertex okay, of the angle is right at the center of the circle. So you can see here angle one, okay, and you can see the intercepted arc, arc AB, this minor arc, this arc is less than 180 degrees. But you can see the central angle here, it's gonna have the same measurement as the arc. So if the arc is 90 degrees, angle one will be 90 degrees, and vice versa. The next one, you can see that angle one, the vertex, okay, is inside the circle, but not at the, the center of the circle, right? So you've got two chords, like so, they're intersecting inside the circle, and what you wanna do is you wanna actually average these two intercepted arcs. You wanna add arc X and arc Y together, divide by two, so it's like taking an average, and you're gonna get the measure of angle one. Now notice that this angle and this angle are vertical angles, so they're gonna be the same, they're gonna be congruent. If you wanna solve for this angle here though, you would either need to know these two arcs, okay, or if you know this angle, you can subtract from 180 since those are a linear pair. Okay, this one here, you can see the vertex of the angle is on the circle, okay, see the vertex, the hinge, right, of the angle, it's right on the circle, and that angle here is called an inscribed angle, okay, it's inside the circle but it's gonna be half of the intercepted arc. So if this is X, the measure of angle one is half of that. Over here we have a chord, okay? This is the chord and this is the tangent. But again, you can see the vertex is right on the circle and the measure of the angle one is gonna be half of that intercepted arc. In this case, I'm just calling it X. So the same formula. And then the last one we have the outside. So the vertex of the angle is outside the circle. And what you're doing is you're actually subtracting. It's the larger arc minus the smaller arc divided by two. So this arc minus this arc divided by two. This one over here, we have two tangents, but again, you can see the vertex of the angle one is outside the circle. You're gonna take this larger arc or the one that's further away from angle one minus the smaller one, which is actually closer to angle one and then divide by two. So what I've tried to do for you here and for myself, just to make memorizing the formulas easier is to group them. So you can think about the central angle, okay, half of the intercepted arc. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, central angle, it's the same as the uh, intercepted arc. Inside, okay, it's an average of the two arcs. You're adding up and dividing by two. On the circle, you're taking half of the intercepted arc. And then outside the circle, you're subtracting and dividing by two. So if you can look at where that vertex is located, at the center, inside but not at the center, on the circle or outside the circle, that'll help you to figure out which formula to use. We're gonna go through some examples and you've got a couple options here. One option is you might wanna look at these pause the video, see if you can solve them yourself, and then go ahead and replay it and then see if you've got them right. Or if you just wanna follow along, that's fine too. So let's see if we can go through them. So this one here, what do we do to find angle one? Well, since the vertex is right at the center, this angle is gonna have the same measurement as the intercepted arc, okay, which is 120. So this one, angle one, is just gonna be 120 degrees. Okay, that one was pretty easy. Okay, this one over here now, you can see that the vertex of angle one, it's inside the circle, okay, but it's not at the center. So here what we're gonna do is we're gonna add up the two intercepted arcs, 80 plus 70, okay, 80 plus 70, and we're gonna divide that by two. So that's 150 divided by two, 75 degrees. Okay, with me so far? Now this one over here is pretty much the same setup. Okay, you can see the vertex of the angle number, uh, angle one is inside the circle. We're gonna add up the two intercepted arcs. We're gonna divide by two. Okay, so that's 170 divided by two is 85. But you can see that's this angle here. So if we wanna solve for angle one, we actually have to take 180 minus 85 since these form a linear pair. So angle one here is actually gonna be 95 degrees. Okay, if we knew these two arcs, we could add those up and divide by two, but in this case, they just gave us these two, so we worked with what we had. Okay, number four, notice that the vertex is on the circle. This is called an inscribed angle, okay? And this is gonna be half of the intercepted arc, so half of 80 degrees, so this is just gonna be 40 degrees. This one here, also the vertex is on the circle. Okay, you have a tangent and a chord, so it's gonna be half of the intercepted arc, half of 170, which is 85. Okay, we're just using this formula over here. Okay, and then over here now you can see the vertex is outside the circle. We're gonna be taking the larger arc minus the smaller arc divided by two. So that's 60 divided by two, which is 30 degrees. Okay, so angle one is 30. And the last one here, they give us, this is 200, this is 160. Okay, so sometimes they won't give you this 160 degree value, but you wanna realize that in a circle, all the arcs are gonna add up to 360 degrees. That's the uh, 
arc uh, sum formula, okay? And so we have 200 degrees minus 160 degrees divided by two, so that's 40 divided by two, so this is gonna be 20 degrees. So I hope you're getting something out of these videos. If you are, give me a thumbs up, like the video. Uh, comments are always welcome. If you have questions or you just have um, suggestions for making these videos better, I'd appreciate that. You can do that in the comments below. And uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.